New inside information obtained by News 4 Jack shedding light on what may have led to an expected plea bargain for Lana Barton less than a week before she and Ruben Ebron are to go on trial in Lonzi Barton's disappearance. We're told Lana Barton will enter a new plea to the charges she faces at a court hearing tomorrow morning. She could wind up testifying against Ebron, her co-defendant. And tonight, sources tell us the state may have had extra motivation to make the deal because prosecutors couldn't find a main witness. We're following two big new developments in the case. We begin with Kent, who spoke with an attorney. Kent, this attorney's been speaking with sources involved with Ebron's defense. Yeah, thank you, Joy. Now, sources close to the case have told us that both sides have been working on a plea deal for a few weeks now. They did not expect Lana Barton to stand trial next week, even though that was on the schedule. So we spoke with a local defense attorney who set, shed some light on why this deal may have been so important to the prosecution. We've heard from sources that it's likely that the state's case hasn't fallen into place as they thought that it would. Attorney Rhonda Peoples-Waters is not affiliated with the Ruben Ebron case, but Tuesday she shared inside information. She believes there's a recent hurdle the state has run into. And they may have some difficulty locating other potential witnesses, and so it looks like they have posed to Lana Barton maybe a better or sweeter deal than they had previously posed to her, and this is at a time where she's willing to accept it. Barton is charged with two counts of child neglect and one count of giving false information to police. Specifics haven't emerged on whether she will make a plea on one charge or all three, but People's Waters says either way, Barton will benefit. And our crime and safety analyst Gil Smith says this plea could help the state build a murder case. Now that she's going to make this plea deal, and if she decides to testify against him, there's a possibility that those charges could change based on the information that they get from her. Because right now, Ruben is not being charged with the homicide, but that could change. But with the charges that they have on him now, I can't see him making a plea deal because he seems to have this swagger about him that he can beat these charges. This could extend the trial's start date, which was originally scheduled for this coming Monday. The defense may ask a judge for more time to get their case together based on these new developments. People's Waters also says if Lana Barton has any information that would implicate Ebron in the death of her son, her statements could help build a murder case against him too. However, she says Lana's credibility could come into question since she's already charged with lying to police. So the defense is going to be able to impeach her if she changes her testimony and say, well, we have you on videotape where you've consistently said that you didn't know anything. So now all of a sudden you know something. It's important to say that no one has been charged with Lonzi's death. Matter of fact, his body still hasn't been found. A spokesman at the public defender's office, which represents Ebron, said they had no comment at this time. However, Ebron's mother did tell us today that she did not expect that Lana would make a plea deal. Joy and Tom. Kent, thanks. Another development tonight. New court documents obtained by News for Jax reveal what Ebron's attorneys do not want any jury to hear. Jennifer Scott Johnson continues our coverage now live from the courthouse. Scott. Well, as we get closer to this trial, we're now learning things that Ruben Ebron and his defense team do not want brought up. There's a lot Ruben Ebron doesn't want discussed in his trial. Let's start with where this all started at the Ravenwood Apartments where Lonzi Barton was living. Ebron doesn't want it referred to as a high crime area, saying testimony is unduly prejudicial. Ebron also doesn't want any previous statements made by an ex-girlfriend used at the trial, saying statements are rank hearsay, also calling them irrelevant, highly prejudicial, constitute improper character evidence, and refer to or make mention of other crimes. He also doesn't want any past reports of violence she made against him to be brought up. The documents also ask to make sure a jury doesn't know about any injunction either sought by anyone or placed against Ebron. Ebron's lawyers are also trying to keep any of Lonzi's DNA found inside their apartment or on any clothing items in this trial out, arguing there is no evidence when this genetic material was deposited nor under what circumstances. The defense team is also trying to keep any reference to Captain Long's canine out of the trial. That's a police dog that detected a scent of decomposition around Ebron's car. Defense lawyers say two other dogs also sniffed the area and did not find any smell of decomposition. The other items the defense wants out of this trial are potentially false statements Ebron gave to police after Lonzi disappeared. 
Now, a lot of this has to be discussed, and a judge will decide what, if any, is thrown out and not used in the trial, because as of right now, it's on the table. So the judge will have to make the decision. This will likely be discussed again tomorrow morning at the next pretrial hearing. We're live downtown at the courthouse. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station. Thank you, Scott. We'll be staying on top of the developments in this major local story. Again, Lana Barton's hearing is tomorrow morning at 8.30. Ruben Ebron has a hearing at 1.30 in the afternoon. Look for coverage in every one of our news broadcasts tomorrow and all the time on News 4.